F-14s of the United States Navy, among the most costly weapon systems in the world and capable of over twice the speed of sound. Tight turns and rapid acceleration subject the pilots to massive gravitational forces that drive the blood from the brain, starving it of oxygen. To protect their investment, the Navy has had to devise ways of testing the tolerance of pilots to forces up to nine times greater than gravity. When the aspiring Top Gun enters this capsule, his future is on the line. Loss of consciousness could disqualify him from one of the most glamorous jobs in the service. Flight deck is manned and ready. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. By using this giant centrifuge to drive the blood from the pilot's head, the naval scientists are, in fact, replicating the first stages of brain death under perfect laboratory conditions. We probably are unique in having the ability of taking individuals completely healthy to uh, the point of unconsciousness. Dr. James Winry, Chief Aeromedical Scientist. During a 12-year period, Dr. Winery has studied over 500 cases of unconsciousness induced by the centrifuge, and his findings strongly support the idea of a physical basis for the visions induced in the dying brain. The symptoms that these individuals were experiencing um, turned out to be very similar to the reported experiences that individuals suffering near death had bright lights, tunnel vision, uh, it being a very euphoric experience, not wanting to be disturbed uh, from the uh, unconsciousness. We occasionally will get an out-of-body experience during the time that they're exposed to high head-to-foot GZ forces. Tunnels, bright lights, euphoria, even a sense of being out of the body. Bumper cars. <laughs> Bumper cars. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now I know why you want to go back through this, my hurt, Dr. Winery. <laughs>